it's an exciting day guys Welcome up to some awesome awesome news guys so unreal engine 5.1 has been released it's now available for you to play with and it's uh so many cool things that have been added and i think i mean so most of you have seen this video that i uh, rendered this particular video was actually rendered in the unreal engine 5.1 and if I go ahead and play that, you can see this, the improvements in Lumen are amazing. Nanite, you name it. So let's go to the release right here, the announcement and see what has been added, okay? So Lumen, Nanite and Virtual Shadow Maps have been updated. So this is a big, big deal when you're rendering your short films. I can't say enough how awesome <laughs> this is, right? So if you scroll down all the way, you can see some of the Nanite uh, like highlights over here. Before, it wasn't supported. I think I believe in uh, even 5.0.3, we had some issues with uh, Nanite on vegetation, which is now updated. Awesome. And for me, the things that uh, stand out, as of course, is the lighting part of it, uh, Nanite for sure. And also the update of the, some MetaHuman updates in there, like the Live Link, uh, Live Link face support and uh, being able to import like uh, JSON files and things like that. So many cool things, right? And something also caught my eye, uh, VCAM has been overhauled with a new underlying system for now. It's utilizing pixel streaming technology, which so I can't wait to share this with you. I know like I do like for virtual production, I use my iPad and sometimes I even use my iPhone to record my scenes as I'm going through the environment. And uh, animation has been has seen some major enhancements, rigging and modeling. So this is cool. I mean, you can see the differences here in terms of uh, the deformer, machine learning deformer. So many cool things. And we've also extended sequencer and in Unreal Engine's multi-track analysis. It is by adding support for constraints and by exposing additional functionality through blueprint. And this is great because the sequencer is now becoming even more powerful where before you would have animation on the sequencer. They're opening up so many cool things that are on, on the timeline that you're able to animate the characters better, not just for characters, but also vehicles and things like that. Uh, UV improvement, audio system enhancements, AI tool set, AI, I mean, that word AI is cropping up again and again. So artificial intelligence is just going to pretty much everything. And many of you have already seen things like uh, Mid Journey and things, uh, Mid Journey and uh, uh, Dali, you know, it's AI is around us now. It's going to become more and more like mainstream. And already you can see Epic Games is int integrating that in here. Mass Entity, uh, man, I can't wait to see the uh, the Sample City uh, test out in the new 5.1 because currently it wasn't supported. You had to rebuild it in some way, but I can't, I can't wait to re-download this and check it out. Smart Objects, State Tree, and there's more. So if you get a chance, you just go ahead to the release notes over here. And you're going to be able to see in detail what has been added, you know, like even, for example, Lumen, you can see now we have two-sided geometry. Before it was just one side and you could, like when you brought your camera close to a plant, it didn't look great. But I, can, I think you can see the difference now, you know. So it's awesome to see like we are finally getting those double-sided materials. And then ray tracing. Has a new, much more accurate presentation of foliage through. It's, uh, it's, it's just so cool, you know. That is just so so cool. And then Lumen uses special spatial temporal blue noise for cleaner image. Yeah, that is a big deal as well. So <laughs> we'll continue down software ray tracing. Then we have high quality translucence reflections. That is also a major improvement. Reflections now single layer water with reflections forced to mirror. That is so cool. So cool. <laughs> Hardware ray tracing. Skylight leaking. Additional settings for diffuse color boost. Nanite improvements for sure. For me, these are my favorite ones. Uh, this lumen improvements in nanite are for me a big I mean, reason enough to upgrade. 
Okay. And path tracer for sure. <laughs> and that's if it's especially for the rendering of the characters. So for Lumen, the reason I talk about Lumen is because people ask, you know, how are you able to render this particular shot? I was I really just used two lights, two main lights, a one rectangular light over on this side and another one behind, and cranked up the samples to about uh, 128 samples for the two lights. And then made sure that I, I was using shadow maps, you know, the ones that were in beta for a long time, but now they're incorporated into 5.1. And also made sure to, uh, like in terms of uh, the lighting, and the, for, this is key, like for the realism of the eye, I had to, I wanted to capture the glint of the, like even the tears. And that's where when you're moving your light, be sure to adjust that in real. The fact that I'm actually able to do this in real time is what's amazing, right? This is just, <laughs> and this is on a 3090 GPU. Now that 4090s are out, man, I expect even better performance in that. But the meta humans are going to look even more realistic inside of uh, Unreal Engine 5.1. So I highly, highly encourage you guys to go ahead and check it out, download it. It's going to be available in your uh, your library over here. I've already downloaded it, but it's going to go like, a, a, there will be like an update over here. If you don't have 5.1, just go and click over here, drop down, and it, it should show up as one of the like engines available, the versions over here. And that's how you install it, right? But all your projects, I think, are going to have to be updated anyways when you launch it. So make sure you do you create backups. And the one that I've been testing with is this one right here. Uh, I created a project that is a uh, cinematic. And now I, I can't wait to update my Nkosa Anancha environment as well <laughs> to, to just create awesome, awesome things. So thank you guys again for joining me today. I just wanted to share with you that awesome, awesome news that uh, the Unreal Engine 5 Point one is now available. All those cool things that we've been waiting for are incorporated. And now I can't wait for the plugins to become available, right? So like, for example, I know the live link plugin for, for iClone. I can't wait for that to be made available so that we can now send characters inside of the Unreal Engine 5.1. If you're new to my channel, guys, I kindly ask that you spare a minute to subscribe, hit that subscri subscription button right there and uh, hit the notification bell so you're alerted when I post a new video. And uh, thank you so much again to all my uh, the, the patrons out there. I truly, truly appreciate you guys. Thank you for helping to get to 18.5. May we go all the way to 20,000, 30,000, 40,000, all the way to 100,000. I can't wait to share that with you. And uh, again, if you're new, uh, to my channel if you want to support me there are other ways you can support me through like uh, the super thanks on the uh, different uh, videos as well as the shorts and thank you guys for your support i really appreciate it and i'm gonna continue to create tutorials and continue to dig into the unreal engine 5.1 to share with you what i'm able to encounter and share what if i create awesome results i want to share with you so you too can create awesome awesome short films for your uh your journeys and your stories thank you so much and bye for now please go ahead and download it uh be set aside some time i mean rather than free up some space because <laughs> you're gonna need it all right bye for now and see you next time